Hello. So it's July, monsoon season. And if you're in Arizona, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Just been a ton of rain, especially over the last three days. So it's August 24th and it barely just stopped raining a few minutes ago. Um, you can't really tell, but my whole yard is flooded, but my clover's thick enough now that you can't tell. But yeah, it's, I would say there's probably an inch of water over half of my yard, but it's loving the water. It's soaking it up pretty quick. There's a lot of drainage ditches around my neighborhood that are completely overflowing. So I'm gonna show you some of that and give you some actual numbers of how much rain has actually fallen. And you'll be surprised to see that in the last three days, we've gotten more rain than all of 2020. So let's check it out. Scenes like this around Arizona right now are very common. Streets are flooded, water's attempting to soak in. Drainage ditches are full. Kids are enjoying the flood water though. It's a good four or five inches, high four or five feet deep in some of these ditches. It's pretty amazing to see these full though, because they're pretty deep trenches that are pretty much everywhere. And you kind of wonder, is it possible for those to ever be filled up by rainfall? And a lot of these are actually overflowing into the street. They're so full, like this one. Completely overflown. That's pretty amazing to see. Lots of kids playing in the water, but I didn't want to film anyone's kids. Now that I have kids, I know how annoying it is when people have cameras pointed at my kids, so I try not to film where kids are playing. Lots of these ditches are just overflowing. Well, I don't think I saw a single one that wasn't pretty full, but some of these are just overflowing out of the streets. All right, so I want to get into the charts. So this is potentially the boring stuff or the exciting stuff, depending on if you like the numbers, if you want to see exactly how much rain has fallen. So um, Maricopa County has a bunch of range gauge, rain gauges all over Maricopa and Pinal County. And I think they overflow into some other counties so they can aggregate all this data. So this is Arizona. And I'm gonna zoom in here in a second. You can try to identify your area. You know, this is the Phoenix area. This is just over the last 24 hours, I believe. One, last one day, yeah, last 24 hours. So, you know, Tempe got, you know, 0.67 inches. Phoenix in some areas got a quarter inch. Gilbert a half inch. Chandler 0.87 inches. <clears throat> Green Creek got a half inch. Look at Magma Ranch where I live, 1.8, no, 1.38 inches. So it looks like where I live got the most out of all of Arizona in the last 24 hours. And it's kind of cool to you to look at this data though, to just see where all the rain has fallen. So this is just the last 24 hours. I'm gonna switch it to three days in just a moment. Glendale, 0.12. All right, so here's three days. Takes a minute to load. So, as you can see, Glendale in the last three days, 0.3, Scottsdale, four inches at one rain gauge. That's impressive. You know, Mesa, two inches, one and a half inches, depending on the rain gauge. Tempe got one and a half. It's kind of a fun little app, though, just to see where all the rain has come. If you're curious how much you got in your area. Apache Junction, 1.6. Then Magma Ranch got 2. Point something. Gilbert got 1.18. I can't remember if I said that already. A lot of these areas you can see. Hopefully, you can see your area. This is the last three days of rainfall. It's impressive. I mean, a lot of these areas got over two inches, some of them over three inches. And that's the amount of rain that, you know, that's roughly the amount of rain you get over an entire um, year in some areas in Arizona. So to have that much rain just in a cut one or two, three days that normally get an entire year is amazing. Like for example, last year in all of monsoon season, in the area where I live, we got 0 
inches of rain over the entire monsoon season for 2020. So just in the last day, we've doubled that. In the last 24 hours, I've got twice as much rain here where I live than we did in all of 2020. And then, you know, obviously in the last three days, it's <clears throat> basically one of the largest monsoon rain air times rainy seasons that we've ever had. So super excited about this. We've all been praying for rain, so it's nice to have that rain heal this area a little bit. It's been pretty severe drought, so this is very wanted. I'm hoping nobody gets hurt in the rain. For there's been a few car accidents and trees that have fallen, so I'm hoping everybody's okay, but the rain is definitely desired, so pretty awesome stuff. Hope it's able to soak into the aquifers and fill people's wells and all that good stuff. I hope this uh, helps you. I hope I was able to zoom over wherever you live so you can see how much rain you've gotten. Yeah, but I put the URL up top of the screen. Um, it's maricopa.gov. It's just their um, rain gauge data. I think this particular one is alert.fcd.maricopa.gov. And it's pretty cool that they don't just keep Maricopa County data, but they have data that goes in other areas. Because I don't even live in Maricopa. I live in Pinal County. So apparently they have data for Pinal as well. Thanks for watching.